Oh, what's going on everybody, it's your boy Smeez the Trackstar and welcome back to another dance hall video tutorial live Yeah man, so I uh, want med sitting <laughs> Yeah bro Sat there, right? And I'm tuning in. Why you pray? Why you pray? They are just all the vibes, do I drink some Cersei and some green tea mixed with some honey. <laughs> that looks so bad with him. <laughs> Fling some suggestion in the chat. Um, what type of rhythm you have to build? You know, I always um, just come on and build a rhythm. So, yeah, just tell me a style and we might sing. So, Patrick, why you pretty bad, bro? You know, just there. You know, go and pay attention to your chat. Just let me know what type of rhythm you build. I go and listen to some rhythm. Chat what type of rhythm you ask me, Bill. You know what I mean? Just drop some message in the chat what type of rhythm you ask me, Bill. And we match it. Comment and get the most vote. That way I do. As you can see, no rhythm day after days, you know, understand? <laughs> For the tree, never heard. Now we are more on that, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, man. So, Javi Lani style. Alright. What do you think about that, people? Javi? I mean, what's up with Javi Lani can play now? They can't cut him. Alright, so, Doc. What are you going to do, bro? Rocky Modern, why are you playing with Jay? Alright, chop her with him. Doc. Yeah, man, let me say, chat, uh, comment, I get the most, you know. Vote just let me know. Say, summer type, chopper type, dark. I love that vocal chop there for. Hardcore dance, I'll type beat. 
Black ass nigga. Hey, um, Austin, I'll probably put that in a separate video, bro. Because them, um, you know, them hardcore type of shit there, them take time, and I'm telling a lie, you know. And I'm my forte. Can build them, but the, the, the sound selection with them thing, they kind of really like tedious. I'm going to do a whole day. <laughs> if you tell it, they got that to shoot, bro. So, um, yeah, I'm sorry, 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 some like why I play that. <laughs> All right, yeah, so that kind of fall in line with the you know, type of like a Javelin style already. So that's cool. So I load up um oh the need for you start something like that. We can start with start with a piano and then branch off in a some plug. So organ Nexus. Background again, you know, your kids them there, so. Excuse the noise. So we'll go uh, piano. Oh, fine. The Nexus Grand Piano soft. Right, that's so. all. All right. So that really what it was like an A minor. So I'll do something on the minor scale. So let's load in um, music scale. Let's go something F sharp minor. Cool. And let's. Um, Drag that back. Let's go in the next one. So let's get a, a, a simple, like a quick like a riff going first. Nice progression. And then we chop it up and, and you know, put style on it. So 94, we'll start with BPM and then um, work way through. So, be setting those UK's beats, but style G. Uh, yeah, man, yeah, man. I understand how you set on So, all right. Get a good progression going. Hmm, let's invert that. Nope, that now go work. Hmm, all right. No, let's change that up. Good, but nah. Intro, we're all gone, bro. Cool. This work. So let's copy this across. Uh, we'll add one extra note on the return. Oh, by also. Sustain everything. Enjoy got this. Add some realism to it. Alt and R. And then all the also as well add some bass notes or some root notes in our low octave. Cool. 
cool. So we have a first progression, right? So we can you know, can take that. We don't bring that in a um, expand. Um, but lad, seriously, without sugar, hell. <laughs> oh, yeah. So I'll get the spicata strings up and down. Piano roll. And there's two ways where we can attack this now, right? We can go something where it's like a, we can do this, like a app, right? So we can do this. And I'm gonna play it right now because it's just a try thing, so basically. Duplicate that. Super Chucky. Me check it out. I make you know Super Chucky. Me definitely check it out. Them all already make kind of harder for remake because a lot of them don't really use too much on non card progression, bro. I swear. So, you know, we can go up and active with this. We have. Then we can add our own little variation in here so we can have this. Uh... You know what I mean? And then we can come here and here. Dun, 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 dun. Cool. So we have that. Pan this off to the right. Now, with the piano, we can add to it, right? So let's go in a, we'll have a good string library we can use right, right now. Let's load up the train, the cog train. Actually, no, we'll use the M1. Low sweet third. <laughs> Big up more than one. <laughs> uh, so we'll use the M1, I'll we'll copy the card progression and paste it in there, and we'll find like a string to kind of complement. But we already have a go on. So go browser. We do go string, 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 string. String. Where the strings them? String. What? Oh yeah, strings, right? That's all. Oh fuck my life. Oh shit. Is that it? Is a blood clot it? Let's start add some drums. I got bonus snare, dance up trap, new channel one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Loop back to the top. Now add a snare in between them, I wanna kinda offset the vibe. Let's um, take out this one out, we don't make it come up in a volume though. I'm also though, I'm gonna do it from now, so I'm gonna have to do it later. We don't wrote this in a, just an empty track on the mixer and I'll put Sound tires plug in the pan man pan it. <laughs> yeah, I would have do it in a bro. The only thing is that the um my mic have a delay upon it, so it's like me play the rhythm and DJ over here, but it got sound like it have a delay upon it because I have to set my buffer size so high just for record the video them. 
So I'm going to use this. I'm going to use a, a preset I'm going to make name. Um, I believe it's the hi hat panoramic. And what this do is basically every time the snare play, it gets triggered, you know, so it trigger it and it pan it off either to the left or to the right. So we don't do that. We'll go tweak. We don't set the threshold low. We'll put the attack to super fast and make sure it's release super high. And it will slow down the rate. So now we can. You know, so it's it a move around. Make that do whiter than I mean, then kicks we can go new channel simple. We'll go into the piano roll and change up the kick. I'm gonna want it sound too repetitive still, so we can come here so. Next, it'll go. Um, how long may I try to be like this? Say hello, I'll be in the struggles. I practice, man. Practice, bro. I'll come and tell you. So let's go here. I'm going to do the app. I'm not going to play it because I already know it's not fit. Um, I'm going to turn to I'm gonna Nemesis. I'll use the Seven Rainwoods app right there, so. Let me say, I'm not even play it because I know it's going to fit. That's how much I trust it. We don't go straight in. Um, my choice is, should I use a 8 to wait for the BS or should I use. Yeah, I might use a 8 to wait, but I might use one from Serum. Um, I would do uh, Regin DJ Geo. Send me a 8 to wait puck from. Sean Divine, I think. So the call we are done to Sean Divine. S E S E. Sean, Sean. All right, that's all. I'll just go to them eight or eight and you know see if we find it all like. So I'll go piano roll, and because the eight or eight from a synth, we have a tune on, so that's one big advantage. So. That's all I could do. I could just literally copy the kick over and then branch it out on the different um, cause them. Yeah. So literally just copy all of them. Down, can put this up. Yes, so and them two here we can keep low like that. Alt and L and stretch them. Quantize that. We'll go serum. I will change the sound. So if we do that, we need to drop it an octave first and foremost.
Blair Kavanagh. Strap it in active once it's up. There we go. Let's turn on the release though. Bring up the sustain, turn on the release. What I can do with it, kind of get rid of some of that happening now, I'm going to like, or just put it in an empty channel and run it into oh, a fucking nice filter I can use. Um, I'll just use Plugin Alliance SSL channel. Matter of fact, use the stock EQ. It's obvious. <laughs> yeah, what I hate, bro. I go full with a filter. I'll chop off some of this top end. And so I kind of do it start make the bass a move around. So if we control that and stop all of that damn movement, can literally just force it mono. And you can see the movement why to make that a why it do all of that fucker. But that's funny that day, I'm not really, all my to really just turn off the LFO. But we now really fuck with it, you know, just low it, make it do what I do. You just force it mono for right now. Let me say, can't get rid of Cool, so back into the truck. Go high hot new channel, right click, delete two. And delete all of them. Cut. And can copy over all of them. So go one third or quarter beat. Mm, can go third and take this. Drag this over a little bit. Go third notes. Modi has says all the three different shops. So I'll do that. And we'll go 16th. And we need to really zoom in for do this. And what I'll do. Go make the volume come up on all three of them. But we'll do different pitch. All three. So I'll make one go low, one go high, and one go in between the two. For the last part is more make it um up like this um speed up effect where start out slow. Mm -hmm. 
but just get faster as it progress. I'm going to do it in a um, third note. So, I'll start out like this. Cool. I'll speed it up here, yeah, so, and then I'll just make it go crazy towards the end. I also don't make it fade out slowly over time. Turn that down, add some percussion. It just fit any fucking thing, I swear. I love it. Cool, and let's go. Stay in a perk, so I go crash. New channel, I need to tighten this up a little bit, so increase the start. Cool, so we have to turn it down. Cool, so we'll go in a contact. Great, Lee, I just check in. Oh, go on, bro. And we're in a contact, but I'll go to, um, what the thing I name? Exhale. Basically, this was arcade before arcade. We don't go loops. Or we could go slices, it really matter. Um, but I'll try loops first. Which no, I'm so not using the loops or no sample, so we'll go slices and let's um All of that solar contact. Let's see some piece. I take out all of the low notes. Accidental goal. <laughs> Let's take out all of them high notes I want to need. Oh shit! <laughs>
right, so a couple more things in my track um, laid out. First, we uh, had a um, tubular bell. <laughs> Big up super chucky. <laughs> Years of practice. Years of practice, my G. So I had the tubular bells first. Um, and we'll just do a simple one note thing. Quantize up the melody, switch this back to line. Quantize it proper. Let's go up on active. So, there are some perks. So I'll probably add some more. Not just some little um, small little things, little details here and there. Now I'm going to add no loops, let me see. So, I have this. Can add that one, two, three, four. Turn it down. And then the other thing when we did say we want to add um what will be a so the tubular bell. There was a sound. There was a fucking sound. Oh my god, I can't remember what thing is. Um nah, I use the um the full version, six point I believe I use six point O, I think maybe. Or something like that. I'm not sure. I think a six point though, bro. Six point zero, yep, six point zero four. I'm gonna update it to six point two, but soon. I'm not sure though. There was something else, I did add expand, and then I did add another VST. It slipped my mind. I don't remember what the fuck it was. So, oh well. Maybe it will come back to me. Alright, so right here, one every one of these, what do I do? Four of these. I do go piano roll, I would make, would make one of them fade up and just copy it over. This first two, would a double up. Something like that. Cool. Something like that. So let's get rid of this. Copy this over. No, and we don't have that play. Basically a loop all the way through. So we don't really have a copy that we can just set it for loop upon this. Cool. And now we can do come now want it show as button. You can just drag it out and it will show it as um actual clips. So can do that. Um there was something else I wanted to add. I have no idea what the fuck it is, so fuck it. Um Let's take this, we'll copy that, we'll go in a, um, um, we'll go in a, we'll have a good bill, we'll have a bill I'm what I really like right now. Now we'll go back in at the M1. Actually, I'll we'll use Legacy Cell, no, I'll we'll use Wave Station. These VSTs are ancient, <laughs> it's been a while. <laughs> a good while I'm going to use it, I think the last time I used a VST, I was probably like a year ago, or probably like five years ago. It's been a while. So let's copy this. I just want a simple riff, just a simple melody for the bell. You know, just kind of progressively just a play all short. Something like the RPG that I made it one I do early. But literally just a repeat the melody all the way through the song. Back to the top. Let's go here. Copy. Oh, no, deselect. 
copy. Don't want them the two last notes have to be the same thing. So we can go up and then change it up over here. So but we fine tune it once we get a sound I'm going to use. So let me some want a bell. So Oh, that was fast. So go in and go up and active with this. Oh, hard on. Oh, 17 people in a big up on yourself, man. Appreciate the stream. Alright, cool. Lastly, we'll take the main melody and we'll kind of reinforce it away with some strings from contact. Actually, oh my god. I'll go back in a contact. I'm going to add um, Session Guitarist version 2 Strum the acoustic I'll use the 6 string I'm going to tell him I drink some blood clot seriously and green tea with no sugar Murder So switches from handmade with all go um, Tennessee Cool if we paste the pattern in there I'll take out all of the low notes. You know, I think some is a professional guitarist, you know? So I go through um, and me go away one him label up all of my pattern them and then we'll lay out the beat. So I play it while I do that. So I'm gonna just see the watch be uh, <laughs> label up <laughs> twenty track. <laughs> some color to them yeah. get them another mixer and start make the arrangement so I'll go sky blue to lime green cool bring them up alright so what we did already have on the mixer we have this snare so we need to move that and that over so one, two, three, four, five. So this needs to be upon five. 
And then the other one, six, seven, eight, need for the eight. Cool. Now we can link everything and everything does still line up. All right, cool. So if we play now. All right, everything's still line up. So can um, copy this pattern, insert a new pattern, paste it, and then go into the playlist and break it out. Cool. Boom. One setting we need for change in the, um, in the guitar and the playback, we need to change this from um, keep playing to stop. All right, can go back a pattern. Cool. So now we have all of that, everything good. We can start below the track, add transitions and shit like that. Yeah, man, big up, bro. Give thanks, man. Like it, my damn self. So, all right. So, how we'll start? We'll start this with the piano and the guitar. Then we can bring in the up and a modified pattern of the 808. So, we'll insert a track and the, this. We'll don't make this unique. Boom. Now, we'll link it to the track above it. Insert a track above it, rename that, and we'll call that 808. Change the color to black. Put on the padlock. Smile it up and link that to it so we can just open that whenever we want. Cool. So let's go here. So let me say, we do a modified pattern at the 808. So we'll do thirds of everything. Actually, we can just do this. <clears throat> so, what I also do is a gap between the notes when them stop and start. Something small, just to get a little bit of breathing room. Um, and then we'll add something more to the build up right here. So, so we'll bring in the percussion as well. So, we can highlight all of this and can shorten up this. Uh, and then bring this across like that. Another thing I'm going to like do is I'm like cut. Anything I'm going to use. So, can keep that, get rid of that, keep that. Now, how I do is it, you know, just free up empty space, bro. I, mean, I really like see the clutter and all of the fucker in the, um, in the piano roll. So, out and see. Cut that, 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 and that. Get rid of all of this. Now without bringing, let me say, ah, let the percussion. So let's copy this over here, so too. The same thing here, so cut. Now what we can do as well is, where is the crash? Right, that's what I think. Yeah. So we can add this here and use that as the trigger to the, to the chorus. Becoming the like how the chorus come in. Bring this across. And of course, after mixing, everything does sound much better. But for right now, you know, we can do that. This other marker, call that intro. Um, all right, this is the chorus. I would probably could start with a verse, to be honest.
And then if we go back to the chorus, we'll just cut out all of this. Actually, we can left that, but we'll take everything else, bring across, get rid of all of the, like, the drums. You know what I mean? And that we kind of bring back the, 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 the Y1 name. Big up 21s, man. <laughs> I'm loving myself, bro. We can lock this to content. Cool. So yes, I really mean enjoy. You know what I mean? Mixing and just arrangement and shit like that. That's the stuff I mean enjoy because I can really make this thing sound like something totally different. So I'll start add transitions in, in and out of the um, course outside of just, you know, the little dropout and all of that. So we'll go in a Yard Vibes kit again. We'll go into percussion with our git. It is a, um, no, it's a effects me for going to transition. There's a um, so we have this. We have the two wheeler bell reverse. We also have. <laughs> I love that curl. There's another reverse. See now one of them. Uh, symbols crash right or so. Which is a reverse to the crash of my having the rhythm. So I'm gonna use that though, is um reverse into the what I want to call it. Uh, what I also can do is shift back this so it land right there, so chop off the wall of the back of this. Cool. Resample this auto, stretch it to two beats. And then just manually stretch it out like that. Insert a new track, rename this track with our call this FX and transitions with our color block. Lock it. I'll link them track to it. The reason why I'm not color them track yet is because I know I'm going to add more you know, effects. So let's take a listen to this. I mean, but of course, if the two bit of belly louder, you don't really hear the impact of the reverse bell, so we can go and turn that up. And I mean, so let's turn this down for right now. Hey, yeah, man, I'm done it, man. Send it going national and um, an automatic man, and so I can go on, bro. Definitely do. All right, so them are time are the times where any type of thing where you want add any type of variation, them are the times where you add it, right? So more other um a kick eight or eight variation in the second part, yeah. Right when the kick play the second time, it's like doom, doom. I want to play, I want to go like doom, doom, doom. Right, yeah, so. So, need to isolate the kick. Wait, there. yeah, so. So, what I'm do is I'll switch to the cut tool, cut this, kind of, you know, separate it like that. Isolate this. So now if you play again. So I want to play right there, so. You know? Or that. Either or. It not really matter. If you kind of bring that off though, what I'm going to do is with a cut this part and this part. I'm going to go 
and drag it down. Right click on this, make it unique. So now this pattern is literally just the two notes. I would take this and I would put that right there. So. Cool. Yeah, so any other type of variation on my might here. Get rid of all of this. Let's chop this off. And what I'm going to do is with the Alt and B, do take the front of this, just the front. Do highlight it and copy it over like this. For switch Alt and C. Do chop this and we'll get rid of all of this. And we'll do some automation. So if we bring in the um the chorus or if we bring in the verse. We do do this. Take this off. Zoom in. Shot them up like that. Probably like half, cut it in half. We need to see which empty, which clips empty and which clips don't empty. I would all get rid of all of them, the empty ones there. And then what would I do? Would I highlight this section and go over it a little bit. So the section are just four in you know, a bar, but we don't go over one bar in the back and one bar in the front. Or the right click on the master feed, I'll go create the automation clip. And if me take it out of here, so let's insert a new track feed, put it here, so what we can do is basically copy this, um, and if you switch to the brush, take this out a step, right click, copy, right click, paste, we do basically feed down here. If you have this at 50%, like that. I'll right click here, so PS value. I'll make this fade in. Cool, so I now go have it um basically just a play the um same chorus over and over. So I'll do that for the first one, but without delete the automation for the second one. Can get rid of all of this. Actually, yeah, we can get rid of all of this. But what we can do is instead of having it play all rapid like that, we can just make it play one, two time. So again, enter. Now the second verse. We don't cut off all of this. Get rid of that. B and we'll use the tube that bell. All right, let's bring this back here. Can use this green. 
not really so much as bringing in the chorus, but we can use the tubular belting. We're using the first part there, so I might use not the, not the end, but I'll allow that for right now. The last chorus, we'll just make it play regular. Oh, no, there's nothing to it, we'll just make it play as intended. And then we'll put ultra. Right there, so. And we'll copy about the first verse, paste it at the end. Take out the automation, we don't need it. And let's see, for this last verse, we can pretty much make it come in without the drums. So just. Strictly perks, not even perks, but just the um, just the melodies. Hmm. Actually, kind of like it without all of that. So let's get rid of everything. Cool. So, last thing for you add. It's. Tag. The link it to you. So, we'll go up on this. Select all of them. Yeah. Color. Ah, oh, shit. I'm just. Uh, I think we just mute them or something like that. I'm not sure. Gradient. We'll do. do. First, we'll do. Blue to some sort of yellow. Mm, no, sir. That's too far apart. Too far apart. So let's go from, yeah, like an orange to a yellow or something like that. So I'm going to look a bit closer. I'm going to go up on the mixer. Select like an empty truck. Link them. For my tag, we'll do, um, we'll do go in a desktop done. We'll do go Hollywood Badness um, project. Mixer. First thing we don't load is we don't load this plate. Load this 2016 stereo room. Um, we don't load up the master truck. So this is how this how they use for meter the levels. Let's, let's change the mode. We don't load top and ear. As you can see, we have a tubular bell track, so we'll load that too. Um, we'll use that as a bus though, so we'll kind of put this over here, so have the orchestra crash, we'll use that as a bus as well, so we can put that, uh, we can put that over here, so somewhere, we have, what the fuck else, the Valhalla Delhi. um, it should be a chorus track, something like that, Echo Boy. All right, and that's it. So let's um color up them. Uh, these are my auxiliaries. So let's change the color. Accept like that. The orchestra crash. We can leave that there. So what we do is we all wrote. I think I crash five. Yep, we all wrote that exclusively into this track. The tubular bells we all wrote exclusively into this track. Turn that on and turn on the orchestra shit here. And then let's um do what we do. So mix it and all. Um so when I mix, I'm just typically like loop out a nice little section. But because the tracks are kinda um <laughs> so kind. Because the tracks are familiar, you know, it's not a lot of movement. We can actually just, you know. 
go at it as is. So what I'm going to do is I'll do the drums first. It'll turn down everything. Like that. It'll bring down all of them. Oh, the other truck I'm going to need for load. I need for load up the um, my tag. Producer tag. Um, effects chain. So I'll put that next to it. Uh, 19 in here now. Give thanks. Yeah, man. Hopefully, G, them I learn something. Road to the shock only. So now, if we start with the drums, first thing we want to mix is the kick and snare, and then we bring in the bass. So I'll start with my kick. Typically, like for my kick, they get somewhere around minus 7 to minus 8 by itself. And before you even get too far, um, I know I should have do this. I mean, if you bring back all the levels them to where they're supposed to be. So let's reset all of them before we get too far in a mix. Which probably explain why my kick now reach minus seven. All right, so now if we play. That's much better. Start this song. Working with snare. Cool. Take off, look like the low enough for the snare, and I really like it. So I'll do that. Cool. Make this pop out look a bit more of the other ring modulator to it. This is free, by the way. Oh, shit. So right around more of my levels, you know, minus seven, minus eight. Cool. Bring in the other snare, the offset one. And if you treat that, use a channel strip. So basically, if you those who don't know what the fuck a channel strip is, it's just an EQ, a compressor, a gate, and an expander all into one thing, right? So we have a high pass and low pass filter. We have a four band parametric EQ, a gate, a compressor. That's all it is. So firstly, we'll compress this a little bit. Let's turn this on. Filter out some of the low end. And then we'll add some delay. Too fast. Much more like it. Freak the hi hat them easy. First, they will filter out everything. We only need this a part of the hi hat anyway. What the fuck we need bass in the hi hat for? Nave, 
Big up yourself, Dreamex, big up yourself, bro. Cool, now we'll just get freaky with the eye, right? So we'll load up from Waves, I'm plugging name Bro Motion. Wait there. Actually, what use stands from? Waves got suck there, mother. Plug in a name Traveler, and it's just like an automatic panner. So I'll play the i at. Yeah, as you can see, you just have it to move around, right? So you just can have the eye at in a, I get some movement basically. Which is exactly what I'm like my eye at. I'm stun on this delay a little bit. Cool. We have the percussions. We pan out percussion as far as we can get them. We have the sonar, kill it with reverb. I mean, no, I'm never gonna turn it up anyway. We have the crash. Because we have the crash going to a separate track, we can just maximize the volume, yes, sir, and do all our processing over yes, sir, which is already done. We have the cuts over the other, and we have it spread. So if we play it now, now it's white. So the only thing left to do is add reverb to it. Let's increase the volume. Cool. And we level still there minus six, so that's good. Increase the volume upon this belting. Would actually make it mono and force it down the middle. Cool. And one trick for get something for sound like it far away is to increase reverb upon it and lower the volume upon it. And that's pretty much it for the drums. Everything has a melody. Well, that's our rag and rugged. So now we'll start with the piano, so we might as well start with the piano. Let's solo this out. There's VST one we use for, you know. EQ, my piano is a Waves plugin once again. It's called um, Money Maracon EQ. And there's a preset one we use. It's called Piano Presence. So this is without that preset engage, just solo it out. Without it, with it. You know, just add a top end to the piano, right? And filter out some of the low end, which is cool. Me, typically, me always filter out even more of the low end and increase the output on it. Then a trick one I have if you kind of get the piano brighter and wider is me have two bus over here. So I have one name top end ear. Well, basically, if me take out the piano out of the master, so we only hear the effect. If me send it to the top end ear, all I hear a top end. You know, because upon it, what we do is we have filter out everything, compress everything. We need to delete this, need to delete it, that, that, that. And we are spread it out and a boost, you know, is adding ear, basically, literally just add ear. And which ear in a musical terms is anything above 20k. So um typically most EQ can go above 20k. So, you know, certain special EQ can go above. We can't hear 20k. But when you increase it, due to the fact that you increase 
frequencies above and below 20k you still kind of get um um a character and a, um a, like a um a sheen a brightness to your instrument so something to consider so let's take this over we'll just slowly send it in there and what we can do as well is we can point the piano we don't really need the piano for the kind of down the center because we have a lot of instruments so we don't try to incorporate so we want to spread out everything so let's bring some verb to this Let's bring in the bass. And what I'm going to do to the bass is we don't add the Fab Filter Pro Q3. We need to control some stuff. 23 people you know. Give thanks. Appreciate the pasture, you know. So filter, everything above and below 30k and 30 hertz. And what we don't know is we basically turn this in a, a, a massive deacer. Right click on them and make them dynamic. We don't basically make this massage the bass. Right, so as we did see earlier, the bass are move around a lot. So if we tighten up them here, and play it. If you maximize this. Anytime you try to get out of control anywhere, you know, the frequency bands them just like catch it. And what that in turn do is it kind of level out the bass. You understand what I'm saying? Because I don't want it to move around like when I move around. Like if I take it out of mono. You can hear a lot of movement there, right? So another way we could untackle that is with the EQ on it already. We can go in a, a limiter. And we can basically just say, you know what, we don't want it past a certain level. So let's see how loud it gets. So it, it actually almost get to zero. So we don't keep this a minus five. We don't make it attack fast and we don't make it release fast. I'll get a transparent sound. And because we take with five, we'll add five. So now the signal is basically just flat line. Cool. Make up for any type of body while we might lose, we can easily get that back simply by adding some saturation. So let's go harmonics. We use Saturn 2. Let's maximize that. So this is a multi band distortion plugin or a saturation plugin. So let's add a band here and one here. We only have really information at the lower end of the spectrum, right? So let's. um get back some of that thickness there. Here we can change the type of saturation, which is why I really like this, because we don't have to um, have one saturation over everything. We can have individual saturation upon every one. So we can literally go crazy upon the mids and not even affect the lows. So. So what we'll, we'll do that? I'm kind of like that. And we can increase and decrease the mix size. This shit crazy, bro. One company where we can say, well, there's a few companies, but Fab Filter, one of the companies where we can say, never make a fuck with plugin. Yet. You know what I mean? So we have a BS. Cool. Now we have a spectator strings, if we listen. Remember we did pan them to the right earlier. So what we don't know is we don't pan them to the uh, we did pan them to the left earlier. So I'm pan them to the right now because we already have the piano on the side. There. So we kind of want to keep certain instruments away from each other. So we we'll push them over to the right side, and we don't EQ them 
different from everything else. The EQ I'm going to use is from IK Multimedia. It's a 1081 Neve style EQ. And the reason why I really like this is because we have a lot of options. So we'll filter out everything up to 270, right? Let's resize this so we can see what I'm going. So we'll filter out everything up to 270, right there, so. No, kind of get rid of some of the unnecessary low end. We also can do something to 330, so we'll take out some more. We'll take out 3DB. We want this as thin as possible, right? Without decrease the input. So the signal where I got in, we don't turn that up, turn that down. But we don't increase the signal where they come out. Meaning that basically it kind of, I'm not gonna say a compression, cause I know compression. Basically, what I do is the signal where I come in, right? I say, me don't want too much of that, but me will make up for it by increasing the signal on me a process. So the little bit of signal that do come through, anything I'm going to do to it, without increase that going out. Basically, the best way I can explain it. Let's do this with the rhythm so make sure so everything sounds good. Increase the fader. Reverb, we're gonna push this back a little bit. Watch this. Nice. Cool. So let's go back to. The first chorus, we need to mix this strings mix. And what we don't do with it, firstly, just a simple filter, we'll get rid of some lows, let's look a bit wider. And FL Studio have a stock plugin named Steer Shaper, one of the best images on the market. Because it's simple and to the point where right click and press delay. And what that do is it basically gives you a spread. This height right now. And then this height when we run it through delay. It sounds wider. You understand what I'm saying? So that's why I like it. It's just simple and straight to the point. So let's turn this down and just get a good blend with the rhythm. Add some verb to it. Cool. So now, time to get the kick to start. Front and center. Side chaining. Literally. No do a thing. Straight side chaining. So, I'm going to put it after the limiter because I don't want the signal get affected going through the going through the limit and want to get affected after a signal done process and everything clean. So once again, fob filter, that's literally <laughs> four different fob filter plugin in our row, bro. The man named make a bad plugin, brother, I may tell you. Um, so let's side chain the kick from Yasso into Yasso. So right click, side chain to this track. And then if we go here, Right click, dirty. So now we have the kick. The kick does start knock all the harder. But it does knock too hard. So let's tame that down. Perfect, perfect. Actually, I'll put the compressor before me because it actually give me a better sound. Bass kind of thicker. So next we have the exhale synth. Actually we have the up. Let's do the up. What I'm gonna do with this, we tell you the truth, literally, we don't filter out. And this is exactly what I'm doing, not even though listen to it. <laughs> we don't just filter out all of the low end. 
like a wide curve like that a little bit wider just like that and it would all go in at the polyverse wider and just push it to the ceiling or to the to the walls because to me the up you know this already man, it just did it it's not important to me i'm not really care for you know it did it just to do a job You know, things I'm care about are the vocal chop, the fucking, um, and the guitar, and the piano. That's the shit that's important, and kick and bass. Like, the harp is just doing a job. So let's do the vocal chop. First, filtering, right? So go, I came multimedia again. This time we don't use the 1073 um, style EQ, as you can see. Less options, but pretty much the same EQ. We'll filter out everything up to 300. Yeah, so basically, I kill all bass, right? And then from there, so we we'll got 220 with a high shelf. We we'll add back some bass, so like two and a half dB. But back off this tree, I will increase by four. So I see same thing in and out, less signal in, more signal out type of shit. And then on a shelf, I don't know which part the curve start, but we don't add 6 dB. Just all tapping. You know, just pure tapping. Same thing as 7K. Can we boost six on the shelf without the tree on a bell? So without... Dark, worthless. With it. Full of life. <laughs> cool. So, next. Turn the stone. We'll insert a thing we'll call micro pitch. We have two, actually, two different plugins near micro pitch. One from Eventide and one from Sound Ties. Both of them. I mean, just absolutely phenomenal. But another one, yeah, the event type plugin win. So I'll use that the one there. I will use it in its default setting. And if what we do, you will use it and why now this. So if we play it and increase the volume, you know, just give our width, natural width. And we'll all just use it just like that when I really do. Nothing else to it. And then reverb go help. This thing kind of take it to another level. Check, 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 check. <laughs> Why the fuck my voice sounds so low, bro? Yo. How oh, are the bomber clad? So, okay, okay. See, there we go. <laughs> I don't know what just happened. <laughs> um, so, if you kind of control dynamics with this, um, with the other compressor, with the kind of, just gently, you know, kind of touch it up. We don't go in an audio, I believe, Audio damage or which one of them bomb? Yeah, see it a LD C2 compounder. <laughs> Elvis, so I go on with a Mars to boy free. <laughs> yeah, man. Um, so with this, which is basically a compressor expander, what would I do? It's like I said, we'll tame down the vocals a little bit because if you look on the dynamics, it's kind of all over the place. Um, if you kind of show you, I'm not sure exactly what I go on. So let's go stock plugins, we'll go limiter. Um, we'll go, no, dynamics, we'll go limiter. 
So I'll put one at the front before the compounder and we'll put one after the compounder. Like me say, it's a compressor and expander in a one plug-in, so them just call it a compounder. So the limit up on the bottom are the one after the VST. And we don't like me say, we'll team down the vocal. So if we turn off the compounder right now, you use the switch. Oh, now nah, you're in a sound hold on there. See it there. You know, so you can see we have some high spots or some low spots or some high spots, you know what I mean? So the compressor would all use now to kind of tame that down a little bit, get that under control. And it's a one knob thing, we just increase it. But the good thing about it, it have different modes, we can change out the tube, because it's a tube style compressor, so we can change out the type of compression we get. So we'll just set the levels first and then worry about the tube. So as you can see, upon the bottom, everything kind of more leveled as opposed to upon the top. All over the place and on the spike and all of that type of stuff. So, so now if we change the tube, I'm like this, I'm like the CLM. Yeah, so what changing the tube, what it do is it change the attack and the release time because we can change it, but changing the tubes because in the real life, different tubes give you different um, reactions to the sounds and all of that type of shit. So that's what I'm basically I try to do with the plugin. So we have that set. So now the only thing left to do, I get the volume right. Now let's add the tubular bell, which I don't know it took me so long, but let's get to it. We can put this all the way up because remember we have it routed to a separate track. So we'll process it on this track, which is already processed. What we are use is we are use the Crave EQ, which is, oh my God, I love that EQ. Yeah. Basically, it's a knockoff of this, right? But it's different and I like that. It's fucking awesome. And then... We don't use, um, what else we have? Saturn. So the OG Saturn, Saturn 1, right? So what we have on the tube that belly if we play it by itself, before and after, before Saturn and the processing. And then after with the processing. Just centered right down the, the middle, you know what I mean? Which is exactly what we want it. Because what we use to get it bigger is we use reverb. And a lot of it. So now, we can move on into the bells. Real quick, we need to turn off something in a Saturn. There is a high quality mode that eats CPU, so I'm going to turn that off real quick and get back to it. So we have the bells. I want me to do it with my bell here. I'll just literally just make them move around in a space, make them go from left to right. I don't really, I really have no designated space so I can send them some. I'll just do a pendulum and make them go left to right very slowly, very soft, maximum width. With mod maximum. No, add some verb. And then just shave off all of the low end. Isabel. And what the fuck does Isabel need low end for? Absolutely. I'll put this before Pan Man. Cool. So if we play now, let's turn markers and go smart switch. You know, so it's just the ear, you hear it every now and then, but every time you hear it, it's in a different spot. Ear can basically. And lastly, we have the guitars. If 
process them, yeah? Typically, I would use a Waves plugin, but the other day I come across a plugin where I absolutely love one guitar, so I don't use that. And this is basically a six band or eight band EQ if you include the low cut and the high cut. So that's where we go start. We do start in gauge low cut, we do increase that to 48, and we do go up to about almost 200. Let's um, solo the guitars. And we can A, B. No, so we just uh, get rid of some of the, the, the bottom because we don't need it anyway. We already have bass, so we're going to need all of that. But what I like about that EQ here is this high shelf, which go all the way up to 30K. Oh, my God. So we'll put this at 25K because it's a shelf. Is it smart? Yes, it is smart. So if I type in 25 and the letter K, it jumped to 25K because every EQ can do That's why I say if it's smart. I would have boost. I would have boost. I would have boost. I would have boost. And it's so transparent, bro. This I would out. Oh, so transparent. Oh my god. On the mid range, another reason I like EQ, we can affect different parts of the signal. So what we can do is the shell form just boost. We can switch it so it only affect the sides, right? Can we do a mid range dip? I would have take out some of the mids. On the fourth one, right? I saw so. Right, I saw um, 25 or 2500 kilohertz. Would have boost the um the sides as well. Guitar sweet spot, you know. But with the same frequency. Without dip out the mids. Look a bit sharper though. Without. Wait. So very subtle, right? Aside from the bass, because I cut out all of the bass. So now if we bring it back in at the truck with everything else. Start add some elements around it, like the pitch shift. So this again. Then we'll push this off a little bit to the right because we have the piano up on the left. <laughs> man, I re upload it, man. Dreamx, bro. What well, if you did go there, bro? Well, video got there, man. So now, what we have left? We have let's put a file check the level so far. Cool. So around minus four, which is cool. That's exactly what more my levels should be when we done mix. So we have what uh, we have metal, which we don't need for mix none at all. I'll now have to increase the volume and send some reverb to it. Literally. I never change all my mix my tag. That's always the same. Let's go back to the top fully. It's big. All right. So let's um, increase that maximum and turn this down. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, shit. This is the wrong one. This now have my arm. Um, they don't have me instruments on it. Yeah, 
That's the right one. So now if we play. Must more under control. Stirring on some of this reverb. Perfect. <laughs> yeah, man, make up yourself, noble. <laughs> Cool. So now we have the um, the two effects. So let's link them to the truck. And then we have the reverse from the tubular bell first. Yeah, so this will move forward like that to we'll chop off all of this. We'll cut off all of this. Yeah, more like it. More the first initial drop for kind of be more of a big deal. So what we'll more do is we'll increase the orchestra crash. We'll take out this crasher. kind of get lost a little bit so I'll bring that up a couple dB can actually add that snare didn't I load in a parallel compression thing I guess not so let's go back in here so I'll go parallel compression and let's send that into here On to the master. Yes, I would add you probably I gotta start fuck itself. So firstly, we have a, um EQ we have filter anything above 19,650 and anything below 30 hertz I get filtered out. That just adds some clarity and make the thing them kind of sound cleaner, right? Because when when you have everything build up for one track, of course, I will have frequencies are clash and shit start getting muddy. So we just filter out all of that. Easy. I can even hear it just in my voice at talk. Once we turn on the filter, you can hear thing just get cleaner. Cool. That's all me I do with that. Nothing else, just a filter out. The compressor, on the other hand, my vocals all get louder every time I turn it on because there's a boost in volume, but there's also some compression. So any bus compressor, this one here, the SSL bus compressor, the API bus compressor from waves in early matter. The settings I'm use never change. Fastest release, slowest attack, lowest ratio, and then the threshold can change. That's the only thing we will change. And the um and the gain. But that's because every rhythm depends on a different volume level. But attack ratio and release never change. Slowest attack, fastest release, lowest ratio. Typically two to one. So if we play. can just hear everything kind of come forward a little bit more. Cool. In this situation, I don't feel like I need a second filter. Sometimes when I add the compressor, it kind of gives the bass a little bit of a bump. So I filter out after the compressor again. But in this situation, I'm not thinking I need it. So I'll lock that and turn it off. Next thing, tape machine. I don't know, for whatever reason, I come across that preset like three or four years ago and every time I master something, song or a rhythm, it always did it. So if you're going to load, if you have the plugin, 
Mastering Fat Titan open. That's the same preset me use upon every rhythm of my master. Sometimes me use a different tape machine, but if me I use this, I dot the preset. The settings can change though. So once me engage this, just listen to everything just come. Oh my God. Everything just come forward, you know what I mean? Cool. Next, L2. Fab Filter Pro L2. L2 from Waves, no matter which one you want to use, same thing. So, what I do with this is I have it set to transparent, I have it at the slowest attack again, fastest release. I boost 4 dB, but I only have take out minus 0 0.4. That can change, more than likely won't change. So once I turn it on, shit I go get louder. And this other part, as you can hear, my voice even get louder. So, right, that's the other part, which part, I start determining which sounds might be a little bit out of control. You understand what I say? So, no I tell me I can fine tune shit. So, the first thing when I hear kind of loud is the, um, is the crash. So, easily, we can just um, turn on my voice. So, we easily just go in and, you know, grab the crash and bring it back. Just like that. Nothing to it. L yeah, man, the L2 from Waves, I see them thing, bro. One's news words, so to describe in the EQ cat. <laughs> Bug metal, what are you going, brother? Um, yeah, maybe I can get it, man. I know the thing, bro. Yeah, man, anybody on the stream, I want to hear man. Any artist, man, just let me know, man. Martin. And this right here, so, oh my God, at the Holy Grail. So, if you all are the, um, the man who are uh, a mix and a master or whatever upon the stream, right? This is also technical to everybody else. So, basically, if you understand what I'm going on, remember, say, with the fab filter or the Pro L, I cap the ceiling at minus 0 0.4 right here, so, right? So, this thing, you know, is so good that me can still pull out another 3db again before it start this start and clip before me even get to zero which is crazy so from minus 0.4 which let me show you how fucking um how could i use describe minus 0.4 oh my god so basically from me going oh we can yeah we can use this yep so basically, 0 0.4 would be, would be this. So we, we're not even have 3 dB between 0 0.4 and 0, right? This plugin is so good, it can pull out 3 dB out of it before it even gets to 0. And I don't know how the fuck them do it, but I love it. That's all I can say about that. Like, I'm turn it on right now. Volume gone up, you're not hear no type of distortion whatsoever. You know what I mean? This thing just, ah, uh, boy, I love mix. <laughs> Shit crazy. So, what we'll do is we'll start at zero. We have it in a, in a more of a hard clipper than a soft clipper. Actually, it'll increase that to 92. We'll start at zero and we'll work way up. So, play and then.
Nice. Everything's sounding lovely. All right, so let me bounce this, you know, then we can play it back and without all of the glitching and all of them fuckers there. So let's um first let's save it. Somebody give me a name. I beg it. <laughs> You know, so we do the old blood cloud video and not even save it there. What that thing if FFL Studio did crash. Yeah, man. Somebody just swing up in here in a, in a, in a, in a, um, in a, in a chat. Let me see. I better know. But I think I don't know what we can name it. Yeah, No names, no names. Bones it. Um, yeah, I'll just see if it has them for right now. We have. All right, yeah, so, um, hang me till I say fuck lady sings. <laughs> uh, one man say unlimited vibes. That sound more like a party with him, actually, though. Let me see if that, let me see if that blood, uh, sound more like a party thing, but one listening, you have to think about in the future, unlimited vibes. Really. Give thanks, brother. Um, and I see one who says Sentinel, I'm really did that. Like, I want to sit kind of emotional for you. Um, for what I want to um, you call it, you know what I mean? So, yeah, maybe I'll um, go back. Um, yeah, so we had the reading bounce out. Um, I don't even know what the fuck, you know, name for it. So, in a new folder, we'll just play it and. So, the mastered file.
yeah, man, I like the, um, the rendezvous thing there, um, still is. I like that, I like that. Go on, meds it still, though. This is the master of the firelight I play right now. Man, give thanks, bro. You know, like I say, I want to do it fine, every day, you know what I mean? As long as the money I learn, I'll continue to video them, bro. Easy. After I make thousands of dollars for YouTube. <laughs> you know, me do it because I enjoy it, brother. And that's what I'm going to say. Real way. I'm mean, um, going to feel it solo this out. Yeah, man, so. Rendezvous, we are calling. What I can do is it's just what I love. Oh my God. It's so all of that. Easily can just put a, um, a gate on the rhythm um, if I need to talk or not. Um, Fab filter dynamics. Can just load up a compressor and go so boom. Right click and put in my vocal chain. Right there, so anytime I chat, rhythm duck. The only fucked up thing about it is that it's actually affecting my voice, which is ridiculous. <laughs> so we will put this on this one track where I go 46. So we can play it and kind of just discuss it and whatever. Um, now is the time. Anything you want to know, we can show you in IFL Studio while it's up on the stream. Just drop a question and we'll show you right now. And I mean easily. No issues. Anything you want, or just you know, what I mean, just um, just let me know, and me can um, show you right now. If you want to offer do something with like a plugin or you know, just go ahead and ask easily. So let's um, link the rhythm there to the tracker. Yeah? So yeah, like I said, no, when we play it, it do it do drop the level upon it. Allow me to talk. You know, and then it do come back up. But we need to kind of adjust the ratio when we really want it. I go so crazy. You know what I mean? So, definitely, bro. Go zero that. Yeah. Check, 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 check. Oh, I make sure so they over the rhythm. You understand what I'm saying? You know, I don't really have too much control of him work at that. Yeah, man. So let me say, we all call it Rendezvous. I like that name there. Yeah, man, DJ Toothpick. <laughs> hey, better. <laughs> Hey, now, I'm telling you, Jamaicans have some of the most creative ways to spell word to blood clad. Big up yourself, my G. Man, and see me with some man, any artist they ever want the, the rhythm just make me know man and we forward it off right now, you know what I mean? I'm not saying it to you right now, Bang Metal.
Yeah, yeah man, and I also to see him with anybody who want the, um, the FLP. Or not the FLP, but the, um, the MIDI file for the main melody. I'm going to bounce that out right now and, um, and upload it to my website. You know what I mean? So, this is the progression. I don't remember what the fuck the scale was we did in there. If somebody remember, please drop it in the comment card. It'll be about blood clot. Matter of fact, see it here. Um, so, the scale was F sharp minor. Alright, cool. So, yeah, man. Um, let's increase the blood clot threshold on this. Alright, yeah. Mad. Yeah, bro, just let me know your email, brother. Me father it off to you right now, bro. Matter of fact, I'm go up on Gmail. I bounce out the melody and then I open up my Gmail and, and send off the send off the melody. So the progression was um F sharp minor, right? Uh, what the tempo for this? The tempo is 95. So what I'll call this melody uh, um Rendezvous Cool And what we do here now is we'll just go in um, Scores We'll go Yard Business um, And we'll copy it to the desktop Right that's so So I'll go open Oh no 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 Shit We'll go window shell menu and it now open the thing the right way so what we can do instead is just drag it out yeah so see it right there so um we'll rename it Just like that, I'm gonna go to my website, upload it, and um, you know, link again in the comment section. the description the file is on my website right now if you go jdrumsupply.net you know what i mean all you have to do i just got free downloads and it's right at the bottom right there so i also dropped them three here today the overproof rhythm the quarter tint and the master and dexter dap leaders card progression and the master and dexter daps have the the, the splice loop of them using it too so yeah man you now we have to give back and you know, give thanks you man you come out come watch the stream um then we're going to my gmail so who many if you send this to um um uh, who many if you send this to me if you send this to bang metal and then who else did I say them want it? Um, DJ Toothpick. Alright, mod, I email it here right now, bro. And why read him name Rendezvous? From Trackstar. Yeah, 
Sam said to upload right now, bro, I got Yeah, man, no problem, bro. Link me up on WhatsApp, see me, bro. You know what I mean? You know, we always open to conversation, you know what I mean? Because I read him there, you know, bro. I read him there. Oh, shit, matter of fuck. Well, my dear, talk. Because now I have the, um, I have the fucking way one here, man. I do believe, um, because I have the, as I have this thing set up, I think we can, I don't know the lowest I'm a bit, I'm a bit, but my, um, my buffer, oh, 256, oh, okay, 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 I'm thinking the lower on that, but now. No, 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 no. Yeah, man, um, I can do is save a new version of the FLP, huh? let me see if I drop my buffer size. No, no, go up. Um, uh, so I'm not hearing no difference. It's yeah, I mean, it don't sound like it affect the stream or not like that. So, you know, we can basically kill all of the plug in them in another session now because we don't really need them. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Wow. I'm going to load up blood cloud, why, 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 think I have auto tune for you, I'm not sure, I think so. I think so! Mm. You know what crazy too? I want you to plug your name, blood cloud, we have track space, huh? It kind of come like another side chain thing too. So what we can do is, what the key for this F sharp minor? Uh, we're gonna advance our really tune speed! <laughs> what a general classic! Um, and what this do is, it's so fucking crazy, it can, um... <laughs> ah, the tube episode, weird. <laughs> we can go in there, so we can go attack fast, like that, and release fast, and then basically, if you see me, like, me listen to the side chain signal, all my ear right now on my voice, like, I'll make your voice like right now. So this thing so crazy is that we can filter out the beat, you know what I mean? And we can determine how much I want to say. Let's play. So basically, right now it kind of mass over me, right? It a mass my voice. So we can basically just start, filter it out until we get to a level with my voice there. Like they're on top of the rhythm, bro. This shit is crazy, bro. I swear. I'ma love it the fuck for that. But we have extra options in that We can basically We have extra options and in that we can basically just um, use it to make my voice like lower You know what I mean? This shit, this shit crazy though Yeah, shit crazy bro <laughs> yeah, set it for break. Yeah, my video, bro. I don't know what the bum up clatter like going on with the auto tune. Now. This shit sound weird. It's like this shit that I grab my voice and I fling it place so where it's not even supposed to go. That shit crazy. Key for the rhythm to F sharp minor or a major. F sharp minor? Yeah, F sharp minor or G flat. Same shit. I'm gonna get it though. I don't know how to make it I do that. Mm-hmm. And if you ever wonder, that's how them do reverb throws. Them just put a fucking shit on a reverb on them voice. Boom. Literally, and just bring it back down that fast. And then. This is the micro pitch thing I made earlier. Like if you listen to what I do to my voice, basically just make shit wider. You know what I mean, this is the ear thing I made earlier. Just add, add in a top end clarity. So 
Everything I do, I kind of do it for a purpose. You understand what I'm saying? So, I never really do nothing just because I want to do it. It have a purpose, you know? Yeah, man. Um, F sharp minor. Low latency. Rich, um, tracking. You can put it at 50. Low speed. Yeah, cool. Yeah, this sound like this guy will have CLA vocals on it. And CLA vocals. Uh, I'll do it soon. I think. <laughs> Sound like something not going on, dog. Something not going on. Um, I'm not sure, what. but I'm not supposed to hear it. It's like my voice sound weird, bro. And I know I'm not just out of tune. I do that. That just that not sound right. None at all. Shit just don't sound right. None of blood clot. All. I'm not get it. I uh, like my voice did sound weird, different a few seconds ago. I don't understand what I'm going on, but yeah. I mean, I understand how I go on a blood clot, but hey, such is life. So quick me forget for do shit in a brother cause I'm not telling me I'm going to send off the blood cloud file <laughs> Roman G makes oh shit yeah bro the other thing I um, set up the things but I me, me start work on them officially oh shit what the blood cloud going on with all this reverb yeah G makes um yeah why one name there bro they are um oh that's why that's fucking why, brother. Cause I'm have my mic in a two different spots. God damn jackass. Oh my god. Yeah, Dreamx. You heard thing me I gotta start um match tomorrow, bro. Um yeah man. But if you send a voice no, but if you get But yeah, no I'm figure out what the fuck the problem is. Me have the fucking mic in a two different spot. That's why that the weird shit did it I go out of my voice. Okay. Alright, no back now. Mm. I 
hacer tingao Muera la vaina y hacer tingao I am not a singer, I am not a DJ I am a producer by nature <laughs> Sorry, if I did me, if it depend on them, know that dead long time. Yeah, look how far we are come from. Before I was them to the top, I won't. Change me, um, change me one second. Check, check, alright, cool. Yeah, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change my arm. I'm gonna swap this out too. Check, check, check. I get loud. Check, 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 check. No levels of blood, blood, watcha. Ah, shit. <laughs> yeah, that's something, you know, I'm the artist, brother. That's so weird. Yeah, bro, me don't want to be an artist. I'm not going to do it, man, bro. I'm good. I'm going to be the rhythm and the video. And live the easy life, you know, because... Some of them artists, and I live better than me. And them... Run around and dash your bag of money like said, man. Live the life for you, you know? <laughs> but you never hear that from me. Good at 
Switch out me interface, bro. I don't know how make me um my fucking interface now. Nah, now nah, I really work with me, bro. Yeah, now nah, make me swap out so I can go to a lower buffer size. My ear like a delay in my headphone, which is weird. Not supposed to be like that, but eh, it's, it is what it is. You know what I mean? Um, my voice so heavily compressed, it's crazy. Actually, can turn off that. Um, we can increase the output on that. Um, yeah, I can that here. Yeah, we can take out the attenuation of that. And here yeah, we can brighten up that. Yeah, I have so much shit on my voice, bro. It's crazy. It's crazy, yo. Send pon the email to Bumbo Cloud. Boy, I mean, a man get distracted fast, brother. <laughs> Alright, bro. Um, share with two people. Um, view, comment. Um, I think turn a link sharing. Alright, so Bang Metal and DJ Two Pick. Man. Yes, I just sent off. Cool. <laughs> it's about to get distracted. Fast. I practice dream X man, you know a thing ever I tell I practice. Practice oh blood clot to go on new mailing list, subscribe or purchase notification. Oh. Okay. Hey, I swear to you, the dog, the bum ton of water tune and them reverb and all them fuckery. The blood clad guitar, the brother. May I tell you, them VST, I make people think they can play instrument or ass clad. Cause the guitar, yeah, boy. My God, my God. <laughs> VST, I make people feel like I say a big blood clad instrumental player, boy. May I tell you, the ass clad. I swear, it think crazy. What well, I probably do. Is my blood clot do another stream later? Um, same thing, you know, just start up a stream and then I tell more of a bill and me, what's it? I will do it that way there. Um, I must say, look like you have the whole waist bundle. Yeah, man, you know, so me actually we link up our WhatsApp, brother. We don't want to talk about them things up on the internet. Next thing, police come kick off the door. <laughs> So yeah, dog, me I'll build um me I'll build another rhythm later on, same type of thing all the way through build already mix the rhythm, you know, arrange it and talk through the whole process and just chill all the vibe later on. Right now, at five o'clock, five thirty almost for me. I don't know what time was part in the day. Pan the east coast I got as all like to a eight o'clock a yard I got as all about eight o'clock if you're in Europe I got as all next day already to blood clot. But yeah, man, <laughs> still the longest meal I ever <laughs> seem to say. <laughs> Yo, Bobo Clot. I remember how fat brother has Mr. Dream Mix and that one. My is, yeah, my, my, I get me. I figure out the audio problem. I will just build a song later on. We do that. Yeah, we record, record the song. Um, it's a remake, this song. Uh, um. Yeah, I'm remake the melody. 
Yeah, man, the link in the description, Michael. Just um, right now, if you refresh it, it down the pin right at the top. You can get the melody straight off of my website. Or if let me just put a link to my site in the chat so you can no, I'm put it in the chat. It'll go away once the video done. But yeah, man, it definitely in the um comment section. The very first comment pin up at the top. It did there, bro. So we have the link for them or two. Yeah, man, the link down there, man. Definitely, man. And let like me say, I appreciate everybody who come to you in on the stream. People are like coming right now, but I think I watched three hour video ago, two and a half hour video ago. So, I ain't it. So, let like me say, later on, man, I just, you know, load up about this thing. And we just be like, um, be my turn, my turn, um, turn the rhythm. I just do a song, man. I put a juggling on the rhythm. I say, if you don't know any artists for, or don't have a voice, you just send it to me. Um, link me up on WhatsApp, man. I know I'm here for the rhythm to you. And we, we get that thing that done, definitely, so. Yeah, man. Glad you all I'm on them tune in on the stream, man. Appreciate everybody for coming out. And I mean, real way. Real, real way, man. You are doing things the right way. I go, I go, I go blood clot, um, um, I go bumbo clot, um, yeah, I, mean, I go for WhatsApp, go fuck around, so. Link in the description to, to, to my WhatsApp, my number and all of them things there. Hey, uh, all of them things in the description. <laughs> yeah, dog. Uh, yeah, man, I ain't ready for two and a half hours we are going for right now. <laughs> yeah, dog. Um, yeah, man, Rivak, we are going to go in it right now. So, probably in about 7 o'clock. Come up, I'm probably streaming before 10 o'clock yard time. So, about 7, 8 o'clock. So, that I would have like 11 or 12 o'clock a yard. East Coast thing. More stream again now. Or just take the rhythm and just turn it in a full song, you know what I mean? So Yeah man. Until then, I go up on WhatsApp, go fool around right now. The link to my WhatsApp group them in the description. My phone number in the description to see me. So if you want to send me a message, ask me nothing, you can do that. See me and like me say one second, man. I'm glad for you man them or oh, slide through his stream. I think at one point with it there are like 30 people. So give thanks for that every blood clot time. Do you make me give yourself on a donation, every day. And till then, till later. Be soon. Chuck Star. Peace.